April 14, 1912, the Titanic on its maiden voyage from London to New York City is suddenly abrupted by a 60 meter long iceberg scraping the sides of the hull. The water rushes through the gap, the port of the ship is flooded and it pulls the bow up until it snaps off and sinks into the ocean. Three people died and was one of the biggest tragedies of the 20th century, but less of that and let's find out why it sank. Before we start, it is important to acknowledge that ships made of metal can float because most of the hull is hollow and not a big chunk of iron. If it were a big chunk of iron, that would make it way too dense to float. Making it hollow allows air, which is less dense than the water is floating on, thus letting it have more buoyancy to float. Baking it hollow also reduces the weight. Another thing they do is they make the hull wider, distributing the weight more evenly. The builders of the Titanic knew this, but they wanted to make the ship unsinkable, so they added bulkheads, which were walls that separated the hull into different sections, so in the event of a flooding, it would trap the water in the one compartment. This would mess up the weight distribution slightly, but not enough to sink it, so it could make it back to safety on shore. Unfortunately, the engineers failed to realize that the deck above and the floors above were not covered by the bulkheads, and the water went over the bulkheads and into the other compartments. The Titanic sunk because the water that came in displaced all the air and made the entire ship way too dense and heavy, thus making the ship sink. Yo what's up it's your boy back at it again cause I am the best from of comedic relief Arian could think of. Though the Titanic was a very sad incident it did help people in the long run by improving various laws which we mentioned earlier. It also improved the way we made ships by strengthening the side plates so an iceberg won't go through as easily. We avoided routes through the north and we made bulkheads that worked, and finally we made projects like these to help us understand science better. So there is a silver lining to such a sad tragedy. To recap the Titanic sank because the water displaced the air and made it too dense to remain buoyant. Thank you for watching Fching. Peace.